Okay, we're going to take you through the backup and restore and system reset functions on the iMedia Blaze series. This is the 9 inch tablet. So let's get fired away. We switch it on on the top there, slide over, and let's go into those settings. And let's just make sure that we have selected to back up our data, something that we should always do when we first switch it on. So on the left hand side there, backup and reset, and then select the various icon there. That will automatically back up and restore your data, uh, should you need to, at any point in the future. OK, so let's have a look at the ways that we can secure our tablet. So let's get back out of there and go back to the desktop, now that we've selected that. OK, now normally when you first boot up, let's just show that screen booting up for the first time. OK, that requests us to slide to the right, the padlock, to open it up. OK, so let's have a look at the various ways that we can change that. Let's go into settings again. And we scroll up and go into security down on the left hand side there. And that there gives us a number of options. We can now choose system lock. And there we've got a number of options. Now I think the first thing we'll do is uh, select, let's select pattern. OK, and let's go through the procedure of setting a pattern in order to get into the tablet. So let's go ahead and do that. OK, and continue. And then it asks us to reconfirm that and confirm. And now when we switch on our tablets, go back to the desktop, switch off. Switch on our tablet. OK, and there, now we have access. Now, equally, if we go back to that settings, we can change that to various options. System lock, and you can change it. Yep, you have to put that in once. That releases it. And there we've got other ones. We can put a password in there. So let's put a password in this time. If we change it, let's just put something in there. A, B, C. OK, we'll leave it at that, yeah. A, P, C, D. Continue on that one. OK, and of course now if we switch off and switch back on, it requests us to put that password in. Now, of course, we're going to assume that we've forgotten it, so let's put the wrong one in. Yeah, let's put something different in. Yeah, OK, got it wrong. Wrong password we see comes up there. Now, in the event that you lose your password, forget your password, um, let's just go through that procedure for completely system resetting. Now, this will lose all your data on your tablet, so remove your SD card before you do this. And also, you'll need to know how to sign back into your Wi-Fi network and also log in back into your Google account and any other accounts you've got. So let's do that process. Now, we're going to press the power button and the volume up button at the same time. Now, watch what happens here. OK, so we're pressing that for at least 10 seconds. OK, and the whole thing switches off, and it comes up with a red screen message saying, are you sure you want to enter system recovery? Now, we've entered that button by confirming yes, and it comes up there, and you can see system recovery. Now, what you get is the Jelly Bean Android logo with the word erasing. This procedure can take a couple of minutes, and then what you find is that it asks you um, well, it, it tells you that it's actually restoring a lot of data and then it brings it back to factory default. So that's the whole procedure.